Jared Branford has been one of the best performing centre-backs so far in Europe this season and has been linked to a move away to Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United and European giants Real Madrid. After a successful loan spell away at PSV Arden over making 36 appearances and winning the Dutch Cup, he slotted right into Everton's backline partner and James Tarkowski in defence. Despite Everton's obvious woes and 10-point deduction this season, the Carlisle-born defender has been outstanding this season, exhibiting a calm and tidy manoeuvre on the ball. The importance of his loan spell away at Holland cannot be underappreciated, as it really gave the Englishman the opportunity to flourish and show it week in week out in a foreign league. Brantwoit has a cool ambience to game that displays most of his contributions in a moderate fashion, almost as if he doesn't need to launch into the higher gears and his ability does the talking for him. His most notable traits to his game that anybody will be able to pick up on consists of his ease with both feet on and off the ball, his physical and aerial domination and his reliability across many aspects of his skill set. We saw on his loan to Arden over that even with his lack of senior experience in football, he gradually shown more and more the maturity he offers to a side quickly making him a first team regular for the this run. Branthwaite enjoys a quick reaction time making him alert to preventing any ongoing danger that the opposing team may formulate, though he most certainly isn't shy to jump in when a player is running at him but understands well that he mustn't get too tight or show too much space to certain attackers. Brandway can easily adjust to the momentum of different types of games from what we've learnt from his time at PSV and so far at Everton. He's very comfortable with the possession game possessing a very decent passing range too which he had time to improve on at Holland when he found Luca de Jong from time to time from a long ball but Jared can also adjust to a messy backs against the wall type of game which is handy in any young player. Although Brandway may not appear or suspect to be the fastest defender, he most certainly contains a level of pace that matches against most strikers in football. Due to his overall posture, it's difficult sometimes to spot that he's actually moving very fast, and matching the speed of pacey attackers such as Erling Haaland, for example, at the Etihad. What I find so striking about the 21 year old is not only his ease to adjustments of tempo with the ball at his feet, his fast reaction time to possible danger, his level of leap with his aggressive dual winning nature, it's his tendency to actually do more than what's expected. Of him. For example, a defender may be in a tight scenario where the ball has fell to them with plenty of players around them, or they've won the ball back with opposing players on their tail. What's mostly acceptable from a defender in this position is to clear the ball, upwards to the number 9 or just simply away from the box. Jared may do that sure, but he'll quite commonly find a man, but mostly I see the centre back use a swift turn of the shoulder and then play out to the midfield or to a wide player. That element of his game mostly reminds you of a player that isn't the most similar to him, but Wesley Fofana at Leicester was an expert at this and really got the team moving quicker up the pitch with further gaps in space on bait in the press. If we further talk upon similar players in Brantwaite's regard, it's hard to look no further than the treble winner and former Everton defender John Stones. He moves in quite a similar fashion to him, both tall, both ball playing defenders that both contain exceptional footwork, calmness and even leadership to their play characteristics. Despite the clear and various strengths to Brantford's game at such a young age for a centre back, there will always be weaknesses to any player, but I find that sometimes when a particularly fast player with a ball run towards the goal with JB following, Brantford struggles to sometimes prevent that attacker from getting a shot off and it's very easy for that to go unnoticed as only against the top level teams and players that will get punished. The other side to his game that could see improvement is his complacency in the aftermath from a short distance of where a clearance or a loose tackle or a 50-50 may end up. Is there a few moments where I see a lack of awareness in that area as he's so focused and zoomed in on the player it is he's challenging for the ball, then it might just give the opposition another dangerous opportunity to punish the Toffees. However, the England under-21 defender has plenty of time to brush up on these small areas of his game and will be a fantastic addition for any club that pursues his signature in the coming future. Let me know in the comments which club you believe that Jared Brandway should remain at and will join for this coming summer and whether you think that Gareth Southgate should include him in that Euro 2024 squad. Thank you for watching this video. If my voice sounded a little bit groggy, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so that hopefully should be gone for the next video. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.